What is the New Testament saying about dreams? Acts 16, verses 9. Message Bible. Verses 9. Yes. That night, mm -hmm. Paul had a dream. Paul had a dream. A Macedonian stood on the far shore. A Macedonian stood, meaning a man. Is it, is, is it saying an angel? That's where I want, to, I want you guys to help me. Is it saying an angel? No. Is it saying a divine being? No. But a Macedonian man, are we together? Amen. Meaning a man from Macedonia oh, yes. stood on the far shore and called across the what? The sea. The sea. And what did he say? Come over to Macedonia and help us. Come over to Macedonia and help us. Uh huh. The dream gave Paul his map. Ah. Ah. Is that in your Bible? The dream gave Apostle Paul his map. Uh huh. The dream mm -hmm. gave Paul his map. Uh huh. We went to work at once, getting things ready to cross over to Macedonia. At once, we didn't ask a lot of questions. We, take, we took our bags. And what happened? Uh -huh. All the pieces had come together. Uh -huh. We what? We knew now for sure. We knew now for what? Mm, for sure. We knew now for what? For sure. We knew now for what? For sure. That what? That God had called us uh -huh. to preach the good news to the Europeans. So how did the good news get to the Europeans? It was through a dream. So the good news ended up in Europe. Because Paul had a dream. And he did not see an angel calling him. It was a man saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. They said, when Paul came out of that dream, we knew for sure that God, not man, God, had called us to preach the good news in Europe. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? They didn't say, hey, this one, it was just a dream. We are waiting for an angel. The devil is a liar. When the enemy wants to attack your destiny, he causes you to thrive in ignorance. Many people are in bondage because of one thing. Simple. Not because the devil is busy with them. That's not the real reason why they are in bondage. Something might have opened the door that allowed the devil to be busy with them. So that's not really the main problem here. The number one thing that causes people to remain in bondage is the truth they don't know. The Bible says in the book of John, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It is never the truth that sets you free, but it is the truth you know. Hence it says ye shall know the truth and the truth you know shall set you free. So a lot of people, God has spoken to them. God has declared things to them. God has even gave them prophetic words, not for others, but for themselves. God even assured them that this here, let it go, I will bring something in a dream. But they woke up and said that was just a dream. And others woke up and said that dream was confusing. There is no dream without a meaning. Write that down. There is no dream without a meaning. Dreams are so important that if you were to put together things in your life, you realize that by the time you are 60 years old, and let's say you slept eight hours a day, by the time you get to 60, you will have spent 20 years of your life 18 to 20 years of your life in dreams. So you lived 40 years awake. 18 to 20 years you are sleeping. You are in a dream. Why? Because God is telling you this side how you should do things this side. You are a spirit possessing a soul living in a body. Don't live like you are a soul with a body only. You are a spirit man. And your reality is never created in the physical. Your reality is manifested in the physical but created in the spirit. Before you receive in the physical, you conceive in the spirit. That's who you are. Hence, you can never receive what you have not conceived. That is who you are. Your greatness starts in the spirit. Glory be to God. 
some of you, you are doing yourself harm. More harm, as a matter of fact. You are damaging yourself by ignoring dreams. 